Hey everyone, my name is Casey Wilkerson and I'm the Principal Media Designer for Disney Live Entertainment here at the Disneyland Resort. Now, as you guys can see, this is a really special time because we're here at night after the park closed. And the reason we're here tonight is to take a look behind the scenes at Wondrous Journeys, which is our brand new spectacular to celebrate Disney 100's Platinum Celebration. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to take a look inside of one of the control rooms. We're going to talk to some of our technicians and see what happens behind the scenes as we bring the show to life. Come on. Ready? We're going to go inside the control room for Wondrous Journeys. This is where the magic happens for Wondrous Journeys. So you can see behind me there's a giant wall of screens. What that does is allows us to monitor the show as it's occurring. Right? So we've got lighting, we've got audio, we've got video, and other special effects that occur throughout the show. This room is where all of that is controlled from. And normally during show conditions, there are three to four technicians who are up here and they monitor all of the various control systems. And what that does is it allows us to make sure that everything is timed perfectly the way that we want it to, that the pyrotechnics are timed just at the right time, the lights go on just at the right time. All happens in this room. All right, so now that we've seen the control room, we're back out on Main Street, and I want to introduce you to Travis. Travis is one of our video designers here, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how we take the media, which is just a pretty picture, and we map it onto the buildings. Yep. Travis. Once the video signal leaves the control area, it heads out to Main Street, and you can see me, there is a projector sticking out of a window. We also are using this alignment grid behind us to make sure the projectors are aligned to the content. Now, what we're going to do is head out to Small World and see what the crew is doing over there. All right? Come on. Hi. So, kind of every day, it's kind of where we start our day, one of us will come out here and raise our uh, Small World projector that's kind of hidden in plain sight that you may or may not know is there until we raise it up. Most of the, our projectors are hidden in plain sight, which I think is the coolest part about what we do. So one of the most fun things about working on a nighttime spectacular like Wondrous Journeys is that there's all these different elements. We've seen a little bit of projection, right? We've seen a little bit of the control space, but you've got lighting and audio and video, and then you have things like pyrotechnics and fire. So guess what we're gonna take a look at next? We are up on the rooftops of Fantasyland at Disneyland. And we're here with Dan, who is one of our amazing technicians who works on Wondrous Journeys. And he's going to tell you a little bit about one of the coolest or hottest special effects we have in the show. All right, this is our isopar system, and it shoots 50-foot flames into the air. Beginning of our day, we come up here and we'll take a look at our system. We'll do an inspection, making sure that there's no debris in our isopar heads. We'll also deck our, uh, the arcs make sure all the arcs are firing, and then we'll also pressurize the system, making sure that there aren't any leaks in the system. It's ready to go. Firing ice bar, head number one in three, two, one. So I hope you have enjoyed this little peek behind the scenes. One of the things about working on these shows is that a lot of people are involved, and I love that you've gotten a chance to meet some of the cast and crew that make the magic behind Wondrous Journeys. The only thing that's missing right now is our guests, and I can't wait for everyone to see this incredible new show.